What is up, guys? It is Ross here, Poké Ross here, and we are back, back for another episode of the Poké Ross Ultra Sun The First Playthrough. If you guys are hyped, go down, tickle that like button just a little bit. We might actually have a new t-shirt coming out soon. Uh, I'm going to probably be designing it in the next upcoming week. I have a little idea in the back of my head. The last t-shirt didn't do too bad. We might be re-releasing that as well. Just throw them both up there at the same time. Maybe we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But, if you guys are hyped for another episode, hit that like button down below and I will see you guys right now. So, in the last episode, we took on the rest of, pretty much the rest of Venus Trial. As far as I know, I, 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 I but, um, so we've gotten all the petals, which is the important thing, is what I mean. Got all the petals, and then we gotta take them back. I'm assuming she's gonna want to battle. So... Well, like I said, we're going to... Uh, no, she's fairy type. Uh, I forgot we were leading with Blooper for a Sorol level. We didn't have to face her. Which I'm sad. I w she, that would probably mean she's probably the Elite Four. But we also didn't face... What's her face, either? The little blue girl, Lana. So, maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Elite Four is starting to... Lana, Lana Acerola... Uh, Big Mo and I don't know. I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see though. Uh, so fairy types. Uh, we're gonna lead with Tux. Our team is fairly weak to fairy types. Not gonna lie. Uh, but I think we're good. I think we're. I think we're dandy. Okay. Welcome back, Poke Ross. <laughs> Was everybody doing well? The captains love getting to see how kids like you and your teams grow. Trial goers and those who watch over the trial goers uh, share the joy with Poke our Pokemon, you know? Alright, lend me the seven petals you collected for a second, would you? <laughs> Here you go, one rainbow flower. It, it, it's made of the petals you got from everybody. That's kind of cool. That's pretty neat, actually. <coughs> so, where is that totem Pokemon? This is the final totem Pokemon for your final island challenge. I hope it's ready to face the toughest uh, totem yet. It's a... It's a Rumbombi? That's a little disappointing, not even gonna lie. Not gonna lie, it's low-key a little disappointing. Okay. Totem Rumbombi, all stats rose. Okay, so maybe maybe it's a bit more challenging because all the stats are upped. Uh, I do love Rumbombi, but... No, okay. So we should came in here with the... Uh, the Steel Z move, but it's gonna go for a Quiver Dance. So all of it now, all of its offensive stats are pretty much. Oh, I just realized this is a this is take, getting taken by a plus two special defense. Uh, gonna call for an ally. A Pelipper. It's gonna make it rain inside her house. Uh, I don't know if they really thought this through too much. Well, I mean with the rain. Let's go for a big Hydro Vortex. It's gonna set up another Quiver Dance. That's frightening. Like, literally, if we don't handle this soon, this is gonna be absolutely bupkis. And we can't power trip our way out of this one. So I like that they, they summoned the Drizzle to negate the fire. That did quite a good amount of damage, actually. Uh, let's pop the Rambombi right here. 
Plus three Quiver Dance. This is not good. Not good at all. Like, I don't care about the Stockpile. The Stockpile can do whatever it wants. Okay, can I can I pick this up with a Aqua Jet? Can I pick this up with an Aqua Jet? Because he didn't... His defense is only plus one. Oh, so close! Okay, that's fine. No, this is absolutely fine. We 100% we knock this Ramon B out here. With another Aqua Jet. And then Virgil can come in and wipe this Pelipper off the face of the earth. There's the Aqua Jet. There goes the Ramon B. There's Spit Up. That's fine. That actually does absolutely bump kiss. The effects of Stockpile wore off, which is fine. So now we go into Virgil and ruin this Pelipper's Christmas. And it's Valentine's Day, and it's Hanukkah, and it's Boxing Day, mostly. Mostly it's Boxing Day. Pelipper's themselves love Boxing Day. Um, so how many of you guys are going to play Crystal when it comes out? I 100% am picking it up. Um... I'm not, I'm not gonna play it for the channel though, because we just did we just did a gold and silver. We're probably gonna be doing a gold and silver this summer, actually. Uh, so Virgil level 51, 51. Tux is level 53, as it should be. Wonder if we get a chance, because we haven't got a chance to catch the legendary Pokemon yet. I wonder when that's coming. To be honest, I don't know where we catch it either. Um, nice. Okay. The Feridium Z. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, she just gives us a Feridium Z before, too. So that's that's sweet. Has it always looked like that? Because that looks sweet. With a little fairy in it? That's stupid sweet. I love that logo. Okay. Wow, she got really awkwardly serious there. You finished all your trials, so the only thing left to do is your grand trial. It'll be little Habu's first grand trial. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so let's head over. You did an admirable job against Mina's trial. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning? Yes, it's time for Grand Trout, Grand Trout time. I'll be waiting for you over on Executor Island. Okay. So, so the time you, you come to wrap up your island challenges. Okay. Hold nothing back. Ooh, they're really, they're really pumping up this this battle with Hal. Not gonna lie, they really, really are. Um, let me heal up real quick first. Like I said, I don't think, uh, ha um, Hapu. There's Hala, Hapu, Hao, all these H's. They must love H's in Hawaii. <laughs> but. <coughs> okay. Hopefully we'll be expecting expecting to uh, go into VGC almost immediately after the series ends. Uh, because I do have a week's vacation coming up here soon. So, that'll be pretty freaking hyped. Um, that'll give me a lot of time to train up Pokemon and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just working on a lot of things for the channel. Updating some layouts, stuff like that. Because, I'm not going to lie, my layouts uh, for like Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff are a little outdated. They still say we're doing the egg lock and arms let's play so those need a little bit update okay so we're here she's all the way up by the, the moon uh, thing okay
We'll talk to this guy, he'll let us up. Okay, so let's lead off with... It looks like it's really sunny here, so it looks like uh, we're probably immediately going to have the sun up. Which, I like that idea, because it, it, it hinders. We're going to lead with blooper, because it's not going to matter anyway. But just looking at the Rotom decks in the bottom corner, there's a lot of sun up on it. So I'm I'm guessing the sun's going to be live for this spot fight. Do you want to try to take, take me and my Pokemon at their full strength? Um, heck yeah. Well, let me show you the... Okay, okay. Let's do this. Wait, is she going to have Executor? And with the Sparkling Stone trusted me by the Tapu, um, I have made the sea powered Ring. Okay, Russ. The Z Power rings as we mean that we battle with the Tapus beside us. This is the first grand trial of Kahuna Hoppo, and I will battle you with everything I've gotten. Okay. <coughs> so, I really like how the story's panned out. I think it's a bit more challenging than the original. I definitely like it as a game. Definitely more whole than Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Okay, that's new. So we're just going to go straight for the Night Slash onto this thing. That's new. I didn't expect the go look, but I'm glad I, I still led with what I did. We're going to take this like a champ, because we're awesome. Which I'm glad this thing didn't have uh, no guard mock punch. Or not mock, mock punch, uh, dynamic punch. And there goes that go lurk. Mudsdale. Okay, we're gonna go right out into... Is the sun up? Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to back out. I thought I could check the... Oh, crap. Baskets. Okay. Well, we're gonna probably let What's-His-Face go down here. Oh, we're gonna go for a nice superpower. Just get get some nice thing off. And we're gonna be going for special attack, so I... So our defense did rose, so there's a low chance we can live... Oh, there's no chance. But at least we know Blooper was going out anyway, so I'm very, very okay with this. So this means, this pretty much solidifies me being able to go out into Empoleon and just click. Uh, uh, skull. Um, is that what we want to do? We outspeed. Yeah, we outspeed. It's a Mudsdale. We outspeed 100%. 160%. You're level 54. Yeah, that's your ace. So we're, we're on the right levels. We're on the right levels. Do we go for the Hydro Vortex? I think we do. She has four Pokemon, though. So maybe I bit the bullet by... Bit the bullet? Is that the right term? I don't know if that's the right term. Okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. There goes a Muddale. It's gonna send out Flygon. Um. Let's send out our Mosby because there's Ice Punch. Yeah. Let's send out Mosby. Mosby's got this uh one-handed. He's gonna light, light up his fist with a piece of ice. And just chuck it at that fly gun. That's what a punch is. If you've seen Jiren fight, you, you know what a punch is actually a being, so. Okay, so here's a nice punch. Earth power, we take that like a champ because we're a Mosby. There goes fly gun. Okay. And the last one is Gastrodon. Well, Pooper Scooper, I don't have anything for Gastrodon, to be honest, because the best thing for it's grass. Uh, so let's, um... Let's just beat it with beat it with our fist. Gabow! I did a lot of damage. There's a Muddy Water. If this doesn't knock us out, I hope it doesn't lower our special defense. 
or our accuracy is what I meant. But we can knock that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go right into Lanayru. Yeah, we don't have the best. Uh, I think Lanayru is what we want to go into. We just go for real quick here. We can go for Dragon Claw. Let's go for Dragon Claw. So close. There's a Muddy Water. I think we can live this. Uh, we do take it neutrally. And our accuracy does drop. That's okay. I think we can still hit this. I, oh, she uses a Hyper Potion. Okay. So it's a little bit butts there. I, this is the time I'm glad the Hyper Potion's nerfed. Um, one more Dragon Claw. I'm luck- I'm happy this thing is super slow, because this is gonna take out our- This is gonna take out our, uh, what's it called here? And we can bring in Virgil and pretty much just clean up the- clean up the fight with this like it. Yeah. We can just bring in, uh, Virgil and clean up with the like it. Okay, we defeated Thud. The sound of your strength rocking me to my core. Ooh. Sorry, Hapu, you're not really my type. But. We defeat our last grand trial. We All we have is the Elite Four left. You've succeeded in your final grand trial. That's pretty freaking hype. Okay. That's pretty hype. They love it because they resist it. They don't even care. Um, undoubtedly a prodigious... Pro prod prodigious... It's prodigious. No, it isn't. It's not prodigious. Uh, prodigious trainer. Uh, in the in the past, any trainer who has completed the island challenges would take a pr pilgrimage to Mount Laikia in the Battle of the Kahunas one more time. In these battles alone, the Kahunas would no longer have hold back in any way. But this year, we have a different sort of uh, final trial upon Mount Laikia. Final destination. Uh, but first, let's return to Pony Island. Okay. Probably gonna have to face Gladian. Uh, that'll probably be our ending battle today. Is facing Gladian. The, the new trial, the new final trial awaits upon Mount, Mount Lanakila. Um, you can trek back to Mount, trek up Mount Lanakila from Tapu Village on Ula Ula Island. Okay. Let's head over there. We'll heal up on our way. I've decided not to do, um, I've decided not to do, uh, Rainbow Rocket on this playthrough. I do have a special thing for Rainbow Rocket that I'm, I'm hopefully going to do sooner than later. Probably in, like, a special, so, some sort of thing. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, okay. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Okay, so this team is looking sweet. Other than being weak to fairy and maybe bug. This team's looking freaking freaking sweet. I, I, I probably wouldn't replace anybody. Okay, so let's prepare for... Let's just throw Virgil up front because... What's his face? I think leads with a crowbat, or he did before. So I'm honestly just going on with what he did before. So let's let's head up this way. Oh, there's a patch of grass here. Oh, is this so you can evolve like Crab Brawler early and stuff? That's super neat. I 
I've been waiting for you. Thank you for what you did for Lily, for my mother. I appreciate more than you'll know. The best thing I can offer you is this thanks in a great battle. So here's my full power, my real full power this time. With the Z power ring that the old man gave me. Okay. Okay. Yep, there's the Crobat. So I th I'm thinking he has Crobat, Lucario, Silvalli, and Weavile, I think those are his four. We're gonna go right for the Thunder Punch. Cross Poison. He's gonna poison me here. I, I just know it. I feel it in my heart. Yep. I was right. I was right. Just gonna. Mm. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. We don't KO with that. That did a lot of. I feel like they did a lot of poison damage. There goes Virgil. Well, Virgil really didn't last long there, sadly. Well, let's go into Blooper. We'll get a nice Psycho Cut off against this thing. Hopefully we can just crit it and call it a day. We don't even need to crit, but... That did a lot of damage. Okay. So, probably gonna go into Lucario here. That's what I'd do if I was him. Which, do I have an answer for Lucario? Next is Soul Valley, actually. We're gonna stay in. We're gonna heal up. I, I definitely don't think I outspeed. We're gonna heal up and hopefully whatever he does can't two-shot us. Hopefully it's like a three-shot. We can go for a really nice, uh... X scissor. Oh, that's, that's done. I'm done. I'm done. Bloober's gone. I was really hoping to just punch that thing in the face with a nice superpower. But no, that's not happening. Mosby's gonna come out. He's gonna hammer on this thing in the face. It looks like the water still valley. Probably because we started with a fire starter. Which makes sense. There's a multi-attack. It's gonna hit us pretty... Okay. One more should do the trick. And there we go. So I think if, uh, depending on when we end this, we might start off with a, uh, team from the GTS first, and then, uh, we shouldn't have kept battling. That was dumb. Um, though we don't really have the best switch in right now, so let's go into Lanayru. Because he's gonna, he's gonna punch us. He's gonna punch us with his fist. Or a spear. Hopefully this isn't a two-shot. Oh, we're good-ish. I think he did just over 50%. Devastating Drake. Ah, you're gonna get us. So this Lucario is gonna give us an issue, so let's 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 think about that. Instead of thinking about BGC. Um We're gonna go into Mosby here. I think we're just gonna revive Lineru, because I think uh Lineru is the answer to just bopping this Lucario. So let's uh sack off. Do I not have any revives? Revives? There's a max revive. We're gonna use that. So I have a feeling we're about to get more from. We usually get some from Hal. But he's feeling serious now, so I don't even know. I don't even know. There goes Mosby. Yeah. Bring it back out into Lanayru. I think I, I really think a little devastating Drake is what we need to do here. I mean, an earthquake would be just as good. It's super effective. We know we can take. Let's EQ. Let's EQ. It's super effective. It's and it's stab. There's no reason to go for devastating Drake actually. Yeah, there we go. I should have went for EQ in the beginning. And last is Zorark. Probably shouldn't have saved the Zorark for last. Uh... <coughs> wow. 
Um, let's go into Incineroar here. Did we get Flare Blitz on this thing yet, or do we still have Fire Fang? I think we still have Fire Fang, sadly. We should be getting Flare Blitz soon. Let's go straight for the Brick Break and call it Zorark done. Hyper Voice. Boom! And then there it goes. Literally, I just really want to throw chop this. Oh, I don't have throw chop. I have Darkest Lair yet. And one more. That's going to be the last Brick Break, and there goes Caladium. So we're almost there. Um, unless they make how Fatus before faces before the Elite Four. I don't. If if they make him faces before the Elite Four, then he's not the champion. But I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. But we'll find out in the next episode. You got good Pokemon. I know what kind of trainer you are now. What kind of journey you've been through. I saw last time I saw Lily, she was heading up to Mahalo Trial. It seemed like she had something on her mind. She's uh, she's gentle enough to be able to feel how much pain Pokemon are going through. I guess that's her kind of strength too. Here, take this. Maybe she's gonna fix the bridge. You know, I tried battling Hal too. He's really changed. I'm not surprised if he managed to be even stronger than Kahuna Hala. Huh. If you guys are going to be getting even stronger, then I guess I sh shouldn't let my guard down yet. Okay. So we're frenemies now. That's cool. But this is where we're going to end today's episode. If you guys are hyped for another episode, hit that like button down below. I know I'm hyped. I'm excited for another uh, episode. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what they're going to do at the top of this mountain. So, I'm going to heal off screen. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Poke Ross, out. Peace.